book of Genesis. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to the cattle, all the birds in the air, and all the wild animals, but none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, this one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This shall be called woman. For out of her man, this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked, yet they felt no shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. everyone, February 8th, and the reading is from Mark. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within, they are what defiles. When he got home away from the crowd, the disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach, passes out into the latrine? Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these things come from within and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this doesn't need a lot of explanation. And as I said before, the gifts of the human heart are what define us as children of God and followers of Christ. And this is what he was trying to say. It's not, it's not about all those things. Um, although we can uh, eat too much and we can drink too much, uh, that is true. And we have learned in modern times uh, that we do need to govern those things for our health and well-being as we grow older. Um, but what he's really talking about, of course, are those that long list that you heard just before, unchastity and malice and uh, theft and jealousy and envy, hatred, all those things. Um, and we have to guard against those things because they can derail a life, a marriage, a friendship. They can derail entire nations, which we see happening in our world today. So it's very important that we put those things aside um, and try to root them out of our life. The evils that come from within, my friends. We all have them. Uh, most of the time, shall we say, they're dormant. We keep them that way. We all possess them. Uh, they poke out their 
their, their terrible heads every now and then, but we've learned to keep them at bay, put them where they belong, and uh, call them for what they are, and then go on with our lives, living them as much as Christ would want us to live as we can. And there are plenty of, uh, plenty of, plenty of ways to do that each and every single day. The discipleship of healing, which has been the theme all week long, um, is one of the most beautiful. And that helps to quell those uh, evil spirits that we keep at bay within us. Take care, my friends, and be a healer, as I said the other day, almost every single day that you can. And keep those, uh, keep those demons inside where they belong and live a righteous life. Take care and God bless. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God as Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And good morning. I think I've always wanted to say this, remembering back to earlier television. From coast to coast and around the world, we welcome you here at Our Lady of Consolation. <laughs> and we do welcome all of you to be part of our parish family this morning. I know so many are watching because they as was it uh, uh, Dean Martin used to say, keep those cards and letters coming in. <laughs> and with that in mind, we place ourselves in the presence of our God. Father in heaven, we read in the gospel that we are the light of the world. May our light shine forth in ways that build your kingdom, Lord have mercy. Amen. May it shine forth in ways that we are compassionate toward others, Christ have mercy. May it shine in ways that we are more forgiving, compassionate, and patient with one another. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homelessness, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall shine forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, speech if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then the light shall rise for you in the darkness and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends who conducts his affair with justice. The just man is a light in the darkness to the upright. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance, and evil he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The, the just, just man is a light in darkness to the upright. 
His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His justice shall endure forever. And his horn shall be exalted in glory. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. reading from the letter, first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling. And my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a bushel basket. It is rather set on a lampstand where it gives light to the whole house. Just so your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. And this, my friends, is the gospel of the Lord. The experience of faith in our lives takes two particular forms. One is when we gather as a community or even on our own, And we heed the call of Christ so that our light shines before others in the good work that we can do. The prophet in the first reading says that. Share your bread with the hungry. Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them and do not turn your back on your own. Those are the more obvious things. Those are the more obvious things. Your light will rise before you in darkness when you satisfy the afflicted. As a parish, we do that all the time. The trays that you're taking for those frozen meals, all of the social justice ministries where we touch the lives of others. We do it privately when we we help our family in need, when we take someone in, when we see someone in trouble and we reach out and we touch their lives, when our kids come home and they're hurt. All kinds of ways in which our faith experience, which tells us that Christ wants us to do these things, and we reach out and we touch others in, in all kinds of ways, charity and, and in love and in all the ways that the family may see or the world may see, we try to let the light shine into the lives of dark places. That's the public kind of stuff. And the parish does that too. But there is a much, much deeper level. Paul exemplifies both. He tells them, when I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with words or with wisdom, except Jesus Christ, him crucified. That is the essence of why we're sitting in this church, Jesus Christ and him crucified. So that in those moments, we recognize what he wants us to do out in the world, 
but there are those moments when we recognize we are alone with ourselves. And that's the other flip side of the coin, if you will. I came to you in weakness, fear, and much trembling, but with a demonstration of spirit and power that your faith rests on the power of God. And that power of God and that recognition of Christ crucified is part of our private interior journey known only to ourselves, known only to ourselves. People will invite me into those moments, and I have been invited into many of them uh, by so many of you. When you're younger, you don't experience them so much. But as you grow older, you experience a lot of them. As a hospital chaplain, I could write a book. There were so many poignant and private moments that people invited me into. And if I were to start going through two or three of them, I would not really be able to go much further. But I have been involved in them in my own life. And they're moments you cherish. Because if you didn't have faith, if you didn't recognize Christ crucified, you could be lost. You could be lost in anger and bitterness or not, not having the wisdom and understanding to, to see that there is preciousness in those particular moments. I remember distinctly, it was Christmas Eve, sitting in the living room, and my father would have only a few months to live, and I had already known that from his physicians in the hospital. And he was poking at the embers in the fireplace, and my mom and everybody were in the kitchen. And I remember sitting on the couch behind him. I'm not even sure he knew I was there. And then he kind of turned to me, and he said, you know, he said, um, you're going to be okay because you're a priest and you're doing okay in the world. And your sister married a good man and she's going to be okay. And I have a granddaughter and I know you'll all take care of mom. And then he went back to poking the fire. And I got up and I went in the kitchen and they were all there, and sister and mom. And I said, you know, I think dad just made his exit speech. I think it was... It was his kind of like, his, he's okay to go. And it was, but it was between me and him. And perhaps someone else would have run over and said, oh, no, 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 you know, you, you have to stay. You shouldn't say things like that. But I knew that that precious moment between me and my father was between me and my dad. And my faith spoke to me in terms of being very proud of him that he reached within himself, maybe not even knowing fully and completely, but he shared outwardly his, his love for all of us. And every one of you could tell a story like that. There are so many wonderful moments. I came in the, the kitchen door one day, and there was my mother sitting there. She didn't expect me home. And she was crying at the table. And my mother was a very strong woman. It was unexpected. And I looked at her. And I said, Mom, what's the matter? And she said, I was just thinking about my mother, my grandmother who lived with us. And I was going to say something, and I thought better of it. I was almost going to say, but she passed away three years ago. And my mother must have read my mind. And she said, I have my private moments like this. And I, I do this when nobody's around, because I, I just need these moments. And, and I know if it were not for her faith in God that, that she had such a strong soul and an ability to, to be able to have those private moments that I, I don't know how she could have functioned as a mother and as a wife. Her faith was that strong. And that's what Paul is talking about. I came to you in weakness, fear, and trembling. I mean, can you imagine the man washed up on shore after a shipwreck? Why wouldn't he have gotten up and said to himself, I have had enough of this. I'm going home. Somebody else can spread the good news about Jesus crucified. But he didn't do that. Or when the Romans arrested him time after time after time, I'm really tired of sitting in jail cells. Let somebody else do it. I'll get free this time and tell the Romans I'm not doing it anymore. But he never gave in. He never gave in because within his soul was the whole notion of 
Christ crucified. And it was a private relationship. Oh, he wrote lots of letters and spouted lots of wisdom and probably began the church that we inherited today. But within himself, there was a quiet faith that got him through all of the worst moments of his life. It's the same faith that gets us through the worst moments in our lives. And to those of you who are young, I speak to you, it is that faith that will get you through the most difficult moments of your life. And they will unfold. And I'm not trying to lay the burden on all those who are very young, but as someone who has passed a few milestone decades, I can tell you, they will come. And if you have faith, and if your knowledge and love of Christ as the savior of your lives is there, you will have a place to go, a shelter, a safe place. And from there you can heal and come forward again and live again. Some people don't have that place and they become angry and withdrawn and they don't live fully and completely again because they, they just didn't deal with the grief correctly. They just never really resolved. Prophets, as we have in this one, like Isaiah and others, they knew exactly what that was all about because they didn't, most of them really didn't want the job. They really didn't, especially Jeremiah. You know, why, why me? Why do I have to go out and correct the Israelites? Why can't you do it? And God is, no, I have to use one of you. You're the people, you're their people. And the prophets would go out and they would do what parents know well. They would simply look at them and say, if you keep this up, bad things are going to happen. They didn't want to do it, but they found that inner strength that we all know we have to do what was required of them. So that's really what the gospel spoke to me about and Paul's letter. The faith expression that we have as a parish where we reach out and touch the world with the light that Christ talks about today. But then that really, really deeper level, that place where we go when the going gets rough, perhaps known only to ourselves. Even sometimes spouses don't always know what the other has in their heart. But as long as you have that place and you have the Christ and you know that there is strength in that, we will never you and I be lost. Please rise. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our response will be hear us. and the sick, that they find joy and renewal in their ministry, in their ministry, excuse me, Lord in your mercy, hear us, for God's holy people, that they answer God's call to religious vocations and lay service in the church, Lord in your mercy, hear us, for those who generously share their time, talent, and treasure, Lord in your mercy, hear us, for the homebound, for those in rehabilitation, and for those in hospice care, Lord in your mercy, hear us. For those who are in need of our prayers and all those who have asked us to pray for them and for all whose names appear on the sick list in our parish bulletin, may God fill their lives with healing and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. For all who have died to rise with Christ in eternal light, especially Jill Switzer, Ristico and Christina DiMatui, baby Evelina Dragon, Lucille Marshall, Bill Hecht, and Elizabeth Forgen Johnson for whom this Mass is offered. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, and blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Consolation. And now, my friends, as we have shared the Word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. Friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection.
St. Jude is the patron saint of hopeless causes and desperate situations. Catholics have relied on his intercession in times of extreme need for centuries. This apostle and martyr has helped countless souls through his epistle in the New Testament and his intercessions on behalf of those who seek his aid in times of trial. Pray this St. Jude Novena for your intentions asking St. Jude to intercede to God the Father, his Son Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit on your behalf. We like to say that he is the patron saint of impossible causes, because even though something may seem hopeless, with God there is always hope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Most Holy Saint Jude, Apostle, Martyr, and Friend of Jesus, today I ask that you pray for me and my intentions. You are the patron of the impossible. Pray for me and my intentions. O St. Jude, pray that God's grace and mercy will cover my intentions. Pray for the impossible if it is God's will. Pray that I may have the grace to accept God's holy will, even if it is painful and difficult for me. St. Jude, you loved our Lord. Help me to love him more. O St. Jude, pray for me that I may grow in faith, hope, and love, and in the grace of Jesus Christ. Pray for these intentions, but most of all, pray that I may join you in heaven with God for all eternity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, our hope. To thee do we pray, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, then eyes of mercy toward us, and after this at our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, while meditating upon the mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. In now the name of the Father, and of the, the Son, of and of the Holy Spirit. I invite you to spend Amen. time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. My friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says, or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection. <laughs> 